very good. So my talk is entitled TGCI to bed and Camus for cancer and just yes, data possession. I will present two, mainly two tools, one for data retrieval and conversion into the bed format from the Cancer Genome Atlas, and the second one for classification and knowledge extraction from this data. It's a joint work with many of my students and other researchers from uh, other Italian institutions like Politecnico di Milano. And let's see the outline of my talk. I will firstly briefly introduce the Cancer Genome Atlas and then talk you about the TCCA to bed repository and tool to retrieve and convert the TCCA data to bed. I will give some example to process TCCA data with GMQL which you saw in the last talk of Stefano, and then give you an example of data integration and knowledge extraction with Camur. I think you all know about uh, the Cancer Genome Atlas, so I will spend just a few work. It's a comprehensive archive that contains more than 33 tumors, and the aim is to um, improve the diagnosis of cancer. It, it has many genomic experiments and many clinical also experiments, called, also called metadata. We focused on next generation sequencing experiments like DNA methylation, DNA sequencing, and gene expression data, RNA-seq, and implemented a tool to comprehensively convert DCCA data into the standard bed format. So the problem is that TCCA data is not provided in a standard format. It's not easily accessible and not easily queryable. And the important data for us and for our data model are missing, like genomic coordinated. So what we do, did is the development of a software tool that converts, that acquires the TCCA data and converts them in the, into the bed format by also integrating additional knowledge from other databases like NCBI gene and other public databases that can extend the data that is present on TCGA, for instance, with genomic coordinates. We additionally released a public repository where you can download the converted data. We have defined and written a formal document where all the data formats are reported. And we support the following experiments, copy number variation, DNA methylation, DNA sequencing, gene expression data, microRNA sequencing, and query all the metadata that is present in the repository. Let's quickly see an example. For instance, RNA-seq, we have here that uh, the data only contains the row counts and some additional measures. What we did with our software is to extend this data of TGCA with the genomic coordinated. So that you can perform, for instance, GMQL queries that take into account these coordinates. You can download this software that is called TGCA to pay to bed in order to convert your own data from the Cancer Genome Atlas. It has a user-friendly interface written in Java, in Java. And you can also do batch processing by loading a configuration file that, which, where you can specify all the data that you have to convert. It is also available as a command line version where you can download data from TGCA and convert and extend the data into the bed format. You can see the TGCA to bed architecture, software architecture. I wish to highlight the integration with external databases like UCSG, Hugo Genome Nomenclature and NCBI and MIRBASE in order to extend the data that is present in TGCA with additional genomic data and metadata. The input are the genomic experiments and the metadata downloaded from TGCI, and the output are a bed file, a metadata file, 
and the header.schema file, and a txt metadata dictionary where you can find all the metadata and their values. So the investigator has TCGA data in an easily accessible format. You have one bad file for each genomic experiment that is present in TGGA, also called aliquot, where you can simply um, also know the sample or the um, patient that is uh, analyzed in the uh, genomic experiment. So you have one file, one bad file with the genomic data and one metadata file where the metadata of the given experiment is reported. The software and the repository is available at this website. You can download the software, you can uh, download the format definition. You can also access the FTP repository. We can see here some statistics that you can also find into the website. It's an open access FTP repository and it contains all the NGS genomic and clinical data of TGGA. You have more than 70,000 experiments, 10,000 samples, and 10,000 patients of 32 tumors converted. In total, we have 650 gigabytes of extended data from TGGA. You can browse the repository for each tumor. You, you, you have, we have more than 33 tumors, and we have for each tumor the NGS experiments, and for, each, for all NGS experiments, we have one aliquot, one bad file, and one metadata file. This data is easily processable with standard programs. You can simply scan the data and acquire each genomic experiment, each file of the genomic experiment, and we propose the genometric query language in order to process this data. You saw in the last talk uh, how the genometric query language works and how the data model is, is composed and it's a key instrument for the integration of genomic and clinical data. It can also be integrated with heter heterogeneous sources, additional sources like ENCODE and other data. And we can see here some example from GM of GMQL where you can integrate DNA-seq and RNA-seq data. The bad format reduces the time to manage to data and uh, it, it uh, efficiently deals with huge amount of cancer data and in easily integrates and query the data with GMQL. We can see here a data integration example where you have the data set of DNA mutilation and the data set of RNA sequencing extracted from TCGA, for instance, the breast cancer data, you can easily obtain a data matrix where you have the samples on the row and the features of the, the gene expression values on the columns and also the DNA methylation values on the columns so that you have an integrated data matrix composed of RNA-seq and, and DNA methylation data. Once we have this integrated data, it is interesting to perform some knowledge extraction. What I propose is to perform supervised classification that relies on rule-based classifier. We additionally developed a software that is called CAMOR that extracts equivalent and multiple rule-based models. Rules are simple if-then rules that are able to distinguish the tumoral from non-tumoral samples. Here you have some examples of classification rules that combine, for instance, DNA methylation and RNA-seq features in order to classify the analyzed tissue into a class that is normal or tumoral in this case. But you could also use the software for other uh, purposes like to classify the stage of the tumor by analyzing the gene expression and DNA methylation features. So CAMOR, it's um, called another software that I present. It's called Classifier with alternative and multiple rule-based models. It's a new method to, for classifying RNA-seq 
case control sample, which is able to compute multiple and human readable classification model. I will mainly focus on uh, gene expression and RNA-seq, but CAMU is a general purpose tool, so you can also give other numerical features as input and also nominal features as input to the software. And it can classify the given sample into their class. Its uh, aim is to classify the sample and to extract several alternative equivalent rule-based models. It extracts multiple classification models based basing on a feature elimination technique and by iterating the classification procedure. The prerequisite that, that, that is that you deal with normalized data, not raw data, so you don't start from reads, but you start from normalized data as it is in TCGA. It supports both RPKM and RSAM normalization method. It is available on this website, and we also have uh, already published a paper on bioinformatics which describes the software and uh, the usage and uh, the method of the software. You can find it on uh, the bioinformatics website. It's an open access article, so you can download both the article, the, the user guide, and uh, the software, and try your own experiments. The software is based on a supervised machine learning procedure where you have as input a training set or a reference library that containing samples with an a priori known class membership. And the software based on this training set builds a classification model composed of if-then rules that can then be applied to a test set in order to evaluate the model, the classification model extracted by CAMUR. And also, it can apply to unknown samples in order to perform the classification into, for instance, tumoral or non-tumoral stage. Rule-based classifiers extract classification formulas called also if-then rules, which uh, an example is if uh, gene Y is below a given threshold and gene X is above a given threshold, then the sample can be classified into tumoral or non-tumoral. And the evaluation is performed on the test set based on following measure, the accuracy and the F measure. As input, you have a data matrix, like I showed you before, where you have the samples on the rows and the gene expressions on the columns. So you can also have, for instance, DNA motivation values on the columns. And on the last column of the data matrix, you must have the class of the given sample. What's the difference between CAMUR and other state-of-the-art classifier? CAMUR not only extract a single classification model because state-of-the-art classifier just extract a single best model for classifying data. CAMUR, by adopting an iterative feature elimination and iterative classification procedure, can extract multiple rule-based models so that you, for instance, can extract all the genes that appear and that are related to a given cancer class. The main output are the classification rule, the classification performance, and, and list of genes that are related to a particular, for instance, cancer class. The method is based on a rule-based classifier, an iterative feature elimination technique, and a repeated classification procedure. It also has an internal database that contains the classification rule for each analyzed class. It iteratively eliminate, eliminates the genes or the features that are present in the classification model and performs again the classification procedure. Let's see an execution example. For instance, if we extract uh, the first rule from the data set, which is composed by gene 1, gene 2, and gene 3, what does Camus do? He extracts these three genes, he computes the power set, and then it iteratively eliminates those genes from the original data set and reruns again the classification procedure by extracting new classification model. 
this, pro this process is done iteratively until a given threshold, for instance, on the classification performance is, ob uh, is obtained or until um, the given number of iterations are reached. These are the stopping criterios for the software. Once you have uh, performed all the classification procedures, you can have uh, a list of genes or a list of uh, classification formulas that are related to a particular class, for instance, a cancer class. The software package is composed by two components, the one that does the real work of extracting the classification rules, and the second one is the solution analyzer, which is, has a friendly user face, interface in order to extract the knowledge, like the classification rules and the list of genes. Here's how it composed the software, but I just explained it. And, uh, Let's see how, which query you can do. You can extract gene lists related to a given cancer. You can extract the rules. You can extract literals and conjunction lists, the statistics about the rules, and for instance, genes, gene pairs that are the genes that appear together in the rules. We experimented CAMUR on DCGA data, in particular on BRCA, on breast cancer, head and neck cancer, and stomach carcinoma by running many classification procedures with obtaining high available results with accuracy above 90 percentage and extracted more than 900 genes, more than 8,000 combination of genes and validated all these extracted rules also on external data extracted from GEO. For instance, you can see gene lists, gene pairs, and you can, with Camus, you can extract the most significant genes that are related to a particular cancer class. You can see how, also how many genes are in common between these three cancers. You, we, we individuated three core genes that both are appeared in the three tumors. And we also compared our method with standard differential expression analysis in order to see how many genes are in common between the differential expression analysis and our method. And we see that not many genes are in common between the differential expression analysis. So our method permits to output additional knowledge from RNA-seq data. To conclude, I presented the DGGI to bed software in order to download and convert the TGCA data, NGS TGCA data into the standard BED format. It is worth noting that it extends TGCA experiments with relevant additional data from public databases like NCBI, Gene, Hugo Nomenclature, UCSC, and MIRBASE, and it facilitates the data managed and to its standard BED format and to the support of GMQL. I propose also to ex extract knowledge with CAMUR from this data. This is a software that extracts rules, classification rules, and it's based on a feature elimination and iterative classification procedure. It was tested on RNA-seq data extracted from TGGA and also combined with DNA methylation data. This is a compact and clear model of the data can, that several logic classification formulas have been extracted, we can also be used to consistently describe the different classes of the data set, for instance, the tumor and non-tumoral classes. This is the paper that you can read in order to uh, get additional knowledge about CAMUR. I also have a poster in the A section, A673. So you, during the coffee break, if you want more details about Camo, you can just pass by and I will explain to you more in detail the, the software and the classification procedure. And as future direction, we can individuate new GMQL queries, data integration of different experiments, multiple extraction in several cancer disease of classification formula, and release of a public database of rules on the web. Thank you very much for your attention, and if you have uh, some questions, you can just ask me now, or if we do not have time, just during the coffee break at uh, my poster. Thank you very much.